strainer they call it, stain, strain, strain. That's what they remind me of, I don't like it. Apart from that, everything else I do like on the page. Um, Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I've decided to film me attempting to do a background on this. Now I say attempting because I'm using neo colours and I've not had loads and loads of practice with these, not as much as I have with watercolours. So in hindsight I probably shouldn't be doing this, I probably should be using just watercolours because I've already uh, coloured the page. This is from Hannah Lynn, is it Mythical Maidens? I bought the PDF version of this book when it went on sale on her actual website. If you buy it from her actual website, it's cheaper than buying it off Etsy. So, I have coloured it on this folder so I can move this now. And I need to transfer it over. This is just a wooden board I got from my watercolours, just for this specific reason. Just for pinning paper down. Now, I did last night do a previous page and I used a washi tape and even that ripped the paper. So I'm going with the low tack tape on this one. Let's move things over a little bit. That should be a bit better. I don't want to keep going in and out in the in the frame, ideally. Just want to keep it as it is. Straighten this up. That to me is straight, but on camera it looks off. So this is a low tack tape. So I'll use this first. And the line is already there for me to follow. I've just pulled out my brighter, I've got two trays of nail colours, I've just pulled out the brighter of the two because I don't think I'll be going for like greys, really dark greens, browns and blacks. Uh, just looking at the colours over there, no, I don't think I'll be using any of them. I'm making sure that I'm going over the edge slightly of the board just so I can push it down like that and now I will need two pieces because that hasn't even touched the top I can still fit my finger underneath there so they must be this must be smaller same thing with this side let's line it up with as, as best as I can that'll do this is Nina uh, cardstock paper as well. It's the smoother one of the two that I own. One of them almost looks like a watercolour paper, but it doesn't act like one. Uh, really, really textured, and this is more of a smooth one, which works really well for alcohol markers. Uh, and I believe I did actually use alcohol markers to base the whole of this. Now, this is just a masking tape that I got from B&Q. So I'll just use this when I was actually painting this room. So it's not an uh, expensive one, it's just a cheapy one. I'm going over the top and making sure that I wrap round the back of the board. Same thing at the bottom. I'm going to make sure that it wraps around. I did, I overdid it with that piece. <laughs> I'd probably go around that twice. But to make sure that it's fully on there. And I will let this naturally dry as well. Uh, I will come back and show you what it looks like dry. And the reason that I'm putting this tape on this board is because I want to try and keep the paper as flat as possible because once you start adding water it will want to buckle all paper does that even watercolor paper does that the really expensive stuff really does that but this will just help a little bit so the colors i've even made myself a nice coffee i was thinking either turquoise colors but if i do that then the the wings in the dress won't really uh, stand out. So I think it'll be a better idea to go with like peachy shades and then maybe put a little bit of the turquoise if I can get it to blend together nicely. Um, maybe that flesh colour. And then for my turquoise shades, uh, this is greenish blue. 
these are a nice nice couple of shades the which is ver verness green and jade green the camera probably won't pick it up oh there you go that's that one um so yeah i'll put these ones to one side i think that's too green i don't think i've actually got a true um i can't think of the name that colour <laughs> i don't think i've got one of them in uh neo colours and for the pinks i know that that one's flesh uh, this one is it apricot this one it most certainly is salmon and then salmon pink for these ones so i'm just i'm just going to do it and see how we get on see how we get on when i pick two aqua brushes now i've noticed with neo colors it's always better to use um aqua brushes opposed to proper watercolor brushes i don't know why they just work better for some strange reason, so we're nearly, nearly, is it six minutes into the video? I've not even started anything yet. It's been one of them days. And a very well needed coffee. I'll probably have another one after that, actually. So, pop a little bit. So, I'm right handed, so I'm better off working this side first. Um, splash this colour here, there, and everywhere. Now, I'm not too worried about going over some of this line art because I'm possibly thinking of going over the top of this with a white acrylic uh, paint pen, the wings, and possibly the dress. I don't know. I'll see how this dries and how I feel. And I know I did have an absolutely terrible time doing this eye. I coloured it in uh, like a pinky purple, didn't like it, went over the top with a shiny metallic watercolour paint, and then I added some black people and it bled into each other and yeah I didn't have a fun time <laughs> but uh, I'd finished nearly all of it and I've just realised now I've not even coloured her lips in so I'll have to go back and uh, do that uh, when I finish this of course once it's dry but I, I feel like this page is screaming some sort of glitter something shiner with it being a furry but I could always put it in the areas that are meant to be whatever these are They're meant to be lit up maybe so just popping that flesh right at the closest point to the actual furry then I want to switch to the salmon pink right I really am just winging it no pun intended with this one I might just use these colours and be happy, or I might end up using these, I'm not sure yet. My daughter's telling everyone I am. She's watching a DVD in her room, giving, uh, giving us a break for a bit. Uh, then to the salmon. I'm just a bit nervous if, if I add these shades, that it might make these pinks and peaches really muddy. Which I don't want, obviously. Uh, let's add a little bit up here. I think what I might do is just activate this, see how it's drying, and then I can decide whether I want to add any of the, these darker colours, I think. But I am so tempted to use this one. It's such a pretty shade, that one. Uh, a little bit of this. Is this a salmon? Apricot. Which is very, very similar to the salmon shade, actually. Or the flesh, rather. I am. You know what? I'm just going to do it. You only live once. It's a, a lovely uh, minty green colour. So basically everything that I just said was a load of uh, poop and I'm going back on what I just said because I'm putting green all over it. <laughs> I think it's too nice that colour not to use. And maybe a splash of the darker one on the very edge. Ooh. I don't know if this is a good idea. 
Right, so I'm going to activate that before I move over to the next step because we've got a nice sort of gap there so I can sort of treat this as one area, one area, one area and then the last area there, so that'll be good. I do think I need both. I think these are the Kuritake on Pentel uh, water brushes. Two different sizes here. Got one quite large one, but it's still pointed, and one smaller one. I wouldn't call this tiny. I've got one smaller than this, but I'll start. I'll start off with a small one and see see how I get on. Because I think sometimes when you use the big one, you've not got as uh, as much control. Now I probably will just do what I always do with nail colour and start off with the lightest colours and then work my way into the darker ones. Now I'm hoping that editing Debra will uh, work out how to zoom in without me constantly having to touch the camera. So if I have then pat on the back for me. Uh, but yeah so you'd be able to see it a little bit better. What I'm doing. But slowly but surely activating them colours and just trying to be mindful not to go over the line out too much. It's not the end of the world if I do. It's not meant to be perfect. If it is perfect, brilliant, but if it's not, it's not. It's meant to be a colouring page, it's meant to be fun. I'm not stressing out about it. I just want to work on the flesh colour first. To just get all that activated and then I'll move my way out being careful not to activate any of the green shade yet see how I'm blending them together and I'm just tapping any excess off onto my cloth and believe it or not this is clean this only came out of the washing machine in a day a day ago I had it on the line it's just full of ink stains <laughs> that's what you get when you do that so I don't know if you might have noticed as well I've not actually dipped it back into the water yet I'm just using whatever's on the brush now that might be the reason that these work better than um, proper watercolor brushes because once you're constantly heat dabbing them off they do go quite dry quite quickly where these tend to stay and I've not even got any water in the I think there's a tiny 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 little bit left so maybe that's helping but yeah I would uh, recommend an aqua brush with nail colours I'd like to shout down and say hiya Isabel but she might get upset <laughs> so why are you not with me I'll, I'll keep quiet quiet so now that I've activated most of that now I'm going to clean the brush off so really clean it off take any excess off and this is where I hold my breath and keep my fingers crossed that I can manage to get this to blend together and not look um, muddy so I'll do it bit by bit and I will keep cleaning my brush off I'm dripping water everywhere. I've never known anything like these nail colours. I've bought cheaper versions of them, uh, gel crayons that are meant to be like a knockoff cheaper version, and nothing is like nail colours in my opinion. Even to my really, really nice watercolours, there's, there's nothing like them. I don't want to keep constantly adding too much water because that will make the paper buckle even more but so far I'm pleasantly surprised with that so far it's all good <laughs> you're gonna tell he's out of bed I hope the camera can pick that up she's saying bye bye and aya aya She's got mummy's accent, definitely. With the few words that she does. Uh, so I'll 
not say anything. I really actually like that. That's uh, come out a lot better than I expected. So this side, because it's such a big area, start off at the bottom first and then work my way up. Like that, and it's going into that darker green now. For some reason, I can't think of the name. What is the name of this sort of green? Aqua? Is it aqua? Yeah, for some reason, I can't think of it. I do want to deepen that up ever so slightly. Now, I don't want to directly go onto this side because I'm going to be using that to colour in a minute. What I'm going to do. Let's try this. I'm just going to put a bit of the nail colour down that. See if I can activate that. And then just put the colour on like that. Can I get it to blend out like that? Well, that works. Save me getting a, a palette out. Let's get rid of any of them harsh lines. And because the paper's already wet, it's just sort of bleeding. So that worked really, really well. I'm quite um, pleasantly surprised. It almost looks like, you know, like she's got, an, they call it an aura, an aura around her. And then I think I will add some of the metallic watercolours that I own. I think that's what I'm going to do anyway. I think I'll try this technique again but do the opposite colours so go for like pink wings let's say and then put the tur it's turquoise that's the word turquoise on the very inside and then make it bleed out into a pink and peach uh, if I could restart it that's that's the way that I'd do it so I'll show you the rest of this in a time lapse because it'll be exactly the same way uh, me just doing this and then I'll come back when it's completely dry and then show you what I'm going to do with I don't know what you'd call these I really really don't but can you see these I'm not sure I think it's a bit too late to try and create a light effect now because I've already coloured the piece and just basically doing the background um, so yeah I will see you in a little bit
Lately I've been going through some hard stuff Getting knocked down, getting right back up On the mistake I made was thinking you Would have my back, but it's one way track That's right, now I've had enough Your bad behavior isn't what I'm worth, no That's right, now I've had enough You don't see it, but I see She's released from the masking tape, although, and luckily, me, uh, it didn't rip the paper. So, I mean, I like it, I like it, but I wish I'd done it the other way around, like I said, like pink, peachy wings and dress, and then I would have done, done it the opposite way around. I think that would have looked a little bit nicer than what it does. I did think about going around the border with this paint, but the lines are so small, I, would have, I wouldn't be able to get it perfect, and I'd use even more masking tape trying to get it perfect so unfortunately that's just going to be what it is uh, these watercolour paints I think nearly all of them apart from this one which I can't remember the brand name of this one and then that one's Renaissance all of them AKJ designs by Karen now this set up here I don't particularly like with the glitter in and this set I got second oh, it was this set and this set I got second hand off a Facebook group and then the rest are ones that I picked so I think I'm going to use these two colours here and then possibly the the bright pink as well now when I need it where is my pipette because I use it on my plants now it seems to like to go walk is I've got any spare ones yeah but Oh, sugar, they're going everywhere. And I mean, they're going everywhere. I've got these miniature ones. These will have to do, so I can't find my big one. So I had to make the Renaissance, KJ Designs by Karen, and KJ again. I think that is it. Oh. Choking on a fur ball, the dogs really do that. <laughs> Uh, now that I'm using watercolour paint, I'm switching over to an actual watercolour brush and I do want quite a small one. So this one should do the trick. The Prince of Neptune size 2. So you have to give these paints just a minute or so uh, to properly activate. But I think I'm just going to randomly put it where these are. I don't... I, are they meant to be like, you know, fireflies when they light up? Are they meant to be like that? I don't know. So we'll start off with the Renaissance one first, because that's probably my favourite. I shouldn't say that, they are different. This one's more glittery, where the other one, that one's more metallic. So they are, they are different. I'm going to fully load the brush up as well. But there's a big dollop of paint on there. And then just go for it. 
I do just want to leave the doll up there and just let it dry like that. I mean, I, I don't actually know what these are meant to be, but... You know, I could probably have got an even small brush. I most certainly have. So once I've applied the, applied the paint, I'm going to attempt to like, make markings around them. And I don't think I'm going to bother putting the acrylic paint on, on the wings either. I think we'll just leave it as is. I'll do this big one here, why not? Just making sure my brush is fully loaded and then I'm going to add a little bit more on as well. Let's clean off my brush. We'll go into the pink eye. Careful not to smudge what I've already done. Should I just stick with these two colours? No. I'm going to add that other blue one as well. See that blue is more glitter. Yeah, it is. It's more glitter. I'm worried now. I've completely wrecked this page by adding these, but I've done it now. It's like that funny TikTok. I've done it now. What are they gonna do? Um, well, I'll put one more here. And the rest with this shade. I swear the dog's not eating anything. I think she's chewing her own nails. She's like her owner. I'm terrible for that. Yeah, it's really pretty this. It is a different sort of... That's like a true turquoise actually, but that's more blue now that I'm looking at them side by side. So I don't need them paints anymore now because I'll just use what I've got on the, the paper and I'm hoping this isn't going to be a big fat mistake. I'm just looking for my smallest brush. This one might be the best. You just not to pull the colour out, but it's a little bit big. Rollo, stop it. I swear she's quiet and then when I click record. I don't think I like this. Trying to almost make them look like stars, maybe. I would prefer them not to have been there, but then I would have had to do a couple of layers of the neo colour to cover these up. I think if it's going to be a background, like a drawn in background, make it a background. If you're going to make it a really open area for us to make a background, then don't be putting these these things in that we don't actually know what they are. Because I feel like I've just made a total mess uh, with this beige now. I'll do the same with the blue. I'm going to have to do it now. I've already started. You know what it looks like, I want to be honest. You know, when it, it was, uh, everyone on the news was talking about the COVID outbreak, they look, it looks like that, it looks like a virus. <laughs> I'll bring it up to the camera in a minute when I finish, but that's what it looks like to me, like a, a bug, like the cold bug or something. Uh, not very appealing. Oh, I've missed a pink one there, come back to that. Yeah, last pink one. Oh, what a disaster. And I've spent hours colouring this page. It's took me about three or four days to do. <laughs> but you see what I mean, not when they're talking about like the cold or the COVID strain, and they call it stain, strain, strain. That's what they remind me of. I don't like it. Apart from that, everything else I do like on the page. Um, now I can feel like a bit... 
I've spoiled it. I'm just going to colour the lips in this bright pink colour. Because. Just because. Try and make it look like I've, I've done it on purpose. I really I haven't and I'm really annoyed with myself. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think if I mess with it too much, I'm going to be even more upset with myself. <laughs> but apart from them stupid, but don't look like stars, take that away. Uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm just annoyed with them things. Well, anyway, I know, nevertheless, I hope that you enjoy watching the video. Um, I'm hopeful the next one will be a, a mouse guard. Mouse guard, but it will all depend on time in the upcoming week. But uh, leave me a pity like, leave me a pity like for the lack of uh, not giving me inspiration this for the next colouring page, put it that way. <laughs> well thank you so much for watching and I will see you.